As part of the citizenship curriculum, students are expected to be made aware of how the justice system works and to learn to respect other people's rights and opinions. This programme takes a look at how Weatherby High School, on the outskirts of Leeds, has tried to achieve this by giving pupils a first-hand experience of the legal system in action. The school is one of 400 across the country which entered the Magistrates' Mock Trial Competition run by the Citizenship Foundation. We'll follow their journey as they prepare for the regional finals and look at how schools can make the most of such external initiatives to enhance citizenship teaching and learning. As part of their citizenship programme, pupils have to study the making of the law, what makes a good law, um, breaking the law and consequences of breaking the law. We received details about the mock trial competition and we felt that it would give pupils practical experience of the law and, and a trial situation and that they could understand what happens and what consequences are and how decisions are reached. Now, the mock trial competition obviously aims to teach the students about um, the law and the legal system, but it also aims to develop their citizenship skills, so their communication skills, their ability to analyze information and to develop arguments based on that information and also work together in a team. Each school is provided with a fictitious but realistic case and the school puts together a team of year eight and nine pupils to play the parts of those involved in a court trial. And we'll carry on from where we were at lunchtime. So we're in our small groups and we're working on our, either our prosecution or our defence case with somebody listening in so that we can criticise or say what's good or any changes that we need to make. So we got the details of the first trial and we sorted out who was going to do what, what positions people were going to hold. Yes, will you remind, uh, remind me of what the Charlie Willis case is about? It's about a common assault between two people where somebody is allegedly struck in the stomach with a pork but it's between a battery and a common assault, which is whether it was lawfully done or whether it was done provoked or unprovoked. The mock trial competition, I think, has several benefits compared to the regular classroom teaching. First of all, it's an easy way for teachers to get into a difficult area of citizenship. It provides them with an opportunity to engage the student in a different way than regular classroom teaching would do. We have put together in small groups people who are perhaps the prosecution lawyer and the person that he would be examining or cross-examining, and they have sorted out questions, how they're going to ask those questions, how those questions can be answered. Teachers are also sent resources to help raise their awareness of court procedures, and they use this to offer advice to pupils rather than script their performance. When you were at the pub, how did Charlie Willis seem to you? The first impression I got of Charlie Willis was he was a loud and aggressive and quite intimidating kind of guy, and he, to me, he sort of looked like drunk. Yeah. So you did feel intimidated by Mr Willis? Yes, I think under the influence of alcohol, he was an intimidating person. Is that all right? Do you no, think... hold on a minute. You need to be careful now how you answer that. What will I say? About the intimidation, because you're going to have to say, well, what made you think this? What, what behaviour was he showing? We, you know, that kind of thing. That's it again. OK. From when, when, you, mm. when you were at the pub, how did Charlie Willis seem to you? He was, to me, and I think probably quite a few other people in the pub, quite an intimidating person. What gave you this impression? Good. He was, he was being so loud that he felt like you couldn't speak over him. Also, other pupils have listened to that and offered comments and say, oh, you shouldn't say that, you should say it like this. <coughs> At the beginning, you said, good, good, after she said yes. it. Yeah, that it. makes you sound really too familiar well, with it. Got to say <laughs> Just say, like, ah, right, or something yeah. like that. As the competition draws near, local magistrate Anthony Mulvaney visits Weatherby to give the team some advice. 
As part of the competition, we're given a link magistrate whose job it is to come in and work with the pupils, advise us so we're not left completely in the dark. I get involved in going round to the various schools and colleges in our community, uh, giving them the benefits of my experience and trying to indicate to the students what role they have in their community from a citizenship point of view. So what I would like to do today is to get some help from all of you to set the court up as if this classroom was a real live court. Okay, so come and give me a hand, please. Sometimes there are problems in fitting a speaker in around the school day. Also, sometimes cost is a difficulty, but a lot of public organisations in particular are willing to send out speakers, people to work with young people, free of charge. What you have in front of you is a courtroom that is set up generally Three magistrates, legal advisor, defence and prosecution advocates, witnesses, defendant, court usher. And what do the prosecution have to do in every single case that comes to the magistrate's court? Got to prove, prove, prove beyond reasonable doubt. What we've tried to do is set the classroom up as in the magistrate's court and run through the trial itself so that he can advise us if we're saying something that we should or we shouldn't do or procedure or how we should act and he's been absolutely fantastic in that. Um, did he appear to you in any way drunk? Oh yes, definitely sounds as if he had at least four pints. Just let me stop you there. Comment about how much he'd had to drink, totally irrelevant. You don't know how much he had to drink. What you can say is the impression I gained was that he'd had far too much to drink. I think using a case such as we have done for the Magistrates' Court competition can be used really with any class, in any classroom. In fact, I have used a case with a sixth form general studies class. We acted it out in the same way that the pupils have done for this competition. We had prosecution, defence, magistrates. We learned how to come to a conclusion. Can you just tell the court why you ran away? It's been um, quite heavy on time, once a week, at a, in a lunch time, hour or so after school as well. But I have to say, it's been time that's been very enjoyably spent because the children have been so enthusiastic and have got so much out of it. Whatever happens, it's been hugely worthwhile. Do you think you're going to win? <laughs> It depends. Ask me when I... Uh, uh, I'll decide if we're going to win when I've seen the opposition, I think. <laughs>
They've learned to argue a point, they've learned to look at a situation and argue from one side, argue from the other. They've learned to work as a group also to negotiate and they've learned how to sort of reach a, a consensus. And did you know that pulling your cue back would hit Charlie Willis? No. So you did not in any way intend to harm him? No, I didn't. Bearing in mind that you're a decent, intelligent and academic man, can you please just explain to the court why you ran away? Well, me and Jamie ran away from the pub because we were scared. District Crown Prosecutor Jackie Kerr is one of the competition judges. I'm looking for evidence at preparation, first off, obviously, that they, know, they know the cases and they know what they're doing and the roles, but also actually looking for evidence of interaction and, and evidence that they are listening to what's being told to them in court, uh, they're listening to what witnesses are telling them and actually responding rather than uh, reading out a list of questions that they have pre-prepared. Your Worships, I propose you ask yourselves the following questions. Did the defendant, Alex Roberts, inflict common assault recklessly or intentionally? Did Alex Roberts realise his actions against Charlie Willis were wrong because there was a risk of harm? If the answer is yes, he was find him guilty. However, if the answer is no, he was find him not guilty. All right. It helps them have an idea of the legal process, people's role in the legal process, and obviously sometimes how difficult it is for the magistrates and judges to come to a decision and how sometimes different people can reach different decisions about guilt or innocence and it's not necessarily cut and dried. Should we start with the common assault? Do we think there was an assault? Yeah. Whether it yeah. was an accident or whether it was deliberately, we've got to determine that yeah. later. Yes. The magistrates in the case will then discuss the case with a real-life magistrate. So they're learning how to look at the, the case from their point of view, how to discuss it, how to balance pros and cons, and reach um, a good conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he was drunk. I think he may have been under the influence of alcohol, yeah. but not yeah. can't walk in a straight line drunk. Mm. I think it may have made him like, a bit less tolerant of the fact that they were playing when he yeah. wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Making yeah. him angrier quicker. Yeah. He could be um, not a very pleasant character to have in the pub, but does that, does that mean he shouldn't he, he should be assaulted? No. No, no. 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 Yeah. I think the fact that he ran away and left him there in pain is a sign of being that's, guilty. That's the yeah. point. Yeah. Didn't yeah. try to apologise or pick him no. up or anything. Because if it was an accident, surely he'd just apologise. All right. The winners as such are not necessarily the people who've proved their cases. It's the people who have provided or shown evidence of good advocacy. We've heard all the evidence against you. Uh, we've taken what's been said into account. Um, and on the evidence, we find the case against you proved. With the trial over, the team assembled to await the results. The team that has deemed to be the overall winner today is Topton School. Uh, we didn't win today, but we were really pleased because everybody in the team did well. The standard was incredibly high. It was a, a very, very difficult decision, the judges said. So we're quite happy. The kids have certainly got a lot out of taking part in this competition. I think we'll be back next year, yes. I think we've, we've got the bug now, so we'll, we'll come again.